How often do you ponder upon the unseen realities of our society, the concealed injustices that persist, unacknowledged and undeterred? Let's delve into one such reality, one that is alarmingly prevalent but largely invisible, the act of gang stalking and targeting individuals. This is a calculated, malicious act, a ruthless invasion of personal boundaries, privacy and security. But it's more than just that. It's a purposeful narrative of deception, a twisted game of character assassination crafted to discredit and isolate the targets. It's anarchy, a blatant disregard for the sanctity of family, for the innocence of children. The orchestrators of this act are not just violating privacy, but are tearing apart lives with a disturbing sense of entitlement. It is a monstrous reality, a silent epidemic that plagues our society, gnawing at the very fabric of human rights. Have you heard of the Hitler effect? It's a term that perfectly encapsulates the mindset of those who engage in gang stalking. This disturbing phenomenon is marked by an unearned sense of entitlement, emotional instability, and a desperate need to control others. It's a twisted dance, a power play, where the key players are those who covet signs of insecurity in their chosen targets. These individuals, armed with their malicious narratives of deception, seek to silence the outspoken, to isolate those who dare to stand against injustice. Their actions are not just an invasion of privacy, but a form of psychological torture. They target individuals not caring about the harm they inflict upon families, upon children. Their ultimate goal? To discredit their targets, to assassinate their characters, to create anarchy, all in a desperate bid to feel better about themselves. It is a dance of power, a cruel game of intimidation and isolation played by those who are desperate to control and manipulate. Have you ever wondered about the erosion of character we witness in our youth today? Could there be a connection to gang stalking? Pondering this, we begin to see a pattern. The rise of gang stalking and targeting of individuals is not merely a symptom of societal decay, but a contributing factor to the degradation of moral values in our younger generations. Imagine a society where lawlessness and criminal activity are allowed to proliferate unchecked. The impact is not confined to the immediate victims. It seeps into the fabric of our communities, influencing our youth and shaping the societal norms of tomorrow. The unchecked growth of gang stalking fuels a vicious cycle, a disheartening decline of values and character. It's a tale of caution, a clear and present danger that we must face head on. The erosion of character we witness in our youth is not inevitable. It is a reflection of our collective actions or inaction in the face of such destructive behaviors. It is a vicious cycle, a disheartening decline of values and character, fueled by the unchecked growth of gang stalking. Could the rise in gang stalking be a prelude to a larger, more sinister agenda? Let's delve into this for a moment. It's been posited that the escalation of this disturbing phenomenon is not merely an isolated issue, but part of a grander, narcissistic agenda. An agenda that seeks to silence those who are dedicated to human rights, civil rights, and the inclusion of all. Imagine a world where the outspoken champions of justice are systematically targeted, intimidated, and isolated. This is not just about the invasion of privacy or character assassination. This is about creating a climate of fear and control potentially paving the way for a new world order that thrives on oppression. The unchecked proliferation of gang stalking and the targeting of individuals could be the stepping stones to this dystopian future. It's a future where the voices of the righteous are muffled, where the rights of the individual are trampled upon. It is a terrifying prospect, a chilling foreshadowing of what our society could devolve into if we do not stand against gang stalking. So, what can we do to combat this malignant growth in our society? The answer is simple yet complex in its execution. We must stand up against gang stalking and the targeting of individuals. We must raise our voices against this violation of human rights, this invasion of personal privacy, this orchestrated campaign of deception and character assassination. Each one of us has a role to play in this fight, whether it's spreading awareness, supporting victims, or advocating for stronger laws and regulations. It's not just about protecting ourselves, but about safeguarding the dignity and safety of every individual in our society. Our collective efforts can make a difference. When we stand together, we send a powerful message. We will not tolerate this abuse. We will not be silenced. We will not let anarchy, lawlessness, 
and the narcissistic agenda of a new world order prevail. It is a battle we must all partake in, a fight for justice, for dignity, for humanity. Stand against gang stalking, stand for justice, 